here we are on my office floor and I'm upgrading my studio computer which is up here which at the moment is a Minix box with an Intel Atom I think it's 1.4 not megahertz gigahertz inside and that's fine for recording audio and stuff like that but um, not much else and with lockdown 3.0 happening i need more to be able to kind of do more stuff with the studio setup um work wise and chinny vision stuff as well perhaps on streaming who who knows but um yeah that box only ever bought for recording audio and uh, does the job admirably from the mixing desk via usb but uh can't do much else so steve green of chinny vision kind of supporter fame and the patreon uh the discord feed Recommended this Chewy box, um, which is about £200. Like the Minix, it's silent, which I need for the studio because I don't want noise. And um, it should just be about powerful enough to do um, a little bit, little bit more than what I can do at the moment. It's a Celeron inside, which um, some people might go, ooh. But apparently it's a quite a good one. Uh, so it's not going to play uh, latest games like... Um, uh, uh, D Doom, Doom. It's not going to play latest games, but it's going to be fine for productivity recording, a uh, bit of webcam stuff, and possibly OBS Studio. Who knows? But um, yeah. So we got this little box. It's about two. I think it's two hundred nine pounds. On the side, it, it's got a Hero Box Mini PC. I've got it with Windows. Uh, my Minix box is Linux. Uh, it actually came with. Windows installed because it was actually cheaper to have Windows pre-installed than it was Linux on the deal I got. I think that box was £135. Um, I got a really good deal. As I said, it came with Windows 10, which was just useless on it. So I put li the Linux install on it. This has got Windows 10. And part of the reason for that is I've, I've loved using Ubuntu, I think it's called. But sometimes with the productivity stuff teams and what have you they sometimes need to do use i don't want to use it but clients need it um sometimes i find linux a bit of a pain for just those more unusual things if it wasn't for lockdown it wouldn't matter but um because it's work and it's lockdown i think i need to be on windows and uh, that will be lots of down votes i've got nothing against linux i've got i've got linux boxes i've got my macs and uh so on but um I have to recognise what the right tool is for each job and I don't want to be fighting a computer just to do stuff that other people can... I'm going to put you down a second. There we go. That's the unboxing. Um, so, this already looks... Oh, it's like, they sent me a router. Oh, God, they sent me a router. No, that looks like it. Um... This is Chini Vision 2, by the way, the second channel. The uh, main channel is more professional and doesn't involve stuff on my phone with wobbly footage. It's probably going to make you sick. Um, that's the Chewy box. I thought this was going to be... Oh, it's plastic. I thought it was going to be metal all the way around. Intel Celeron inside. Wouldn't shout too much about that. But uh, Type-C, USB-C. Oh, USB-C. Fancy. USB 3 slots there. Micro SD, which I believe is USB 2 speed. We've got an on-off button there. Nothing on the side there. We have 12 volts in a reset button. Why, I don't know. It locks up. Why wouldn't you just pull the mains out? No idea. Good old-fashioned D-sub. Um, why do you want that in this day and age? I've got no idea. HDMI. Why couldn't you have a second HDMI? Or perhaps this... This computer can only support one's display, I don't know. A gigabit LAN and two USB 2 slots for... Why wouldn't it have USB 3 all the way around? I don't know. Underneath you've got a mounting thing there. Hero box. This is made by a Chinese company in Shenzhen, China. It's a 64-bit like the Atari Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry. Shouldn't laugh at your own joke, should you? Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, we got... 
product inspection report. Wow. From Chewy. Oh, someone signed it. No, they haven't. Right, okay, it's just printed. This is fanless, if I didn't mention that. We've got a uh, made in China. Ships from a UK warehouse next day on Amazon. Um, don't put another order in at the same time like I did for something else and then find it's going to take two weeks. That's going to be the power supply. I hope it's a decent quality one. Ah. Oh, oh. So we've got a power supply there. Looks like an Apple one with a UK bit on the end there. And some oh, brackets. Is that for mounting the main unit on something? Interesting. And that's about that's about it, really. Well, a star in there. So it's not the smallest box in the world. It's bigger than the the Minix, but uh, and the Minix is all metal, but uh, considered to be more powerful, which is what I need, really. So I'm going to plug this in, have a play, and I will add something onto this video um, in a little bit about performance and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, again, the Minix is, I, I've got to stress this, it's a perfectly fine box if you just want basic stuff, but... Um, yeah, the modern kind of webcam stuff. I zoom. I was doing Zoom today, and it was playing up merry hell. Um, on the sound kept on breaking up, and it, it is the box. Um, it's just not quite powerful enough. But um, yeah, I, I've quite liked it, apart from this stupid Wi-Fi aerial off the side, which is like huge, bigger than the entire thing, really, which is nuts. Um, but. Nice construction, all metal. Um, does get a little bit warm. I guess this is going to get warm. Um, I assume there's a honking great big heat sink in there. Uh, one other thing about this apparently is you can uh, undo it and put your own SSD in there. And the SSD, or oh, there's two important things about this box as well. It has dual channel memory, which is apparently important for PC nerds, but to you or I, it means it runs faster. And uh, it's got a genuine Intel SSD inside it already, but you can actually add your own as well should you desire but um, i'm going to have a play with this and boot it up and, and see how see how it goes right so i've gone for a little bit of reconfiguration here ahead of a first boot move things around um, and the monitor should come on so let's try the computer so we get a little blue light coming on of course it is completely silent fans you can hear in the background are my nas over the other side of the room is the monitor going to come on? That's the question. Oh, there's a light. Oh, here we go. Chewy. Might be pronouncing that wrong. If you're familiar with my studio, by the way, I have also upgraded the screen here. This BenQ. It's not the best screen around, but uh, the price was very, very keen. And it does have everything I need. And I didn't want... Actually, I could have got something slightly better, slightly larger, but this is already pushing it for size in this space so um pretty good it's difficult to get very small lcd or smaller lcds in this my existing one's 10 inch um so the other side of the room at the moment so we're now going to be setting up windows i assume it's windows 10 um i've got a couple of other windows 10 boxes running on ooh, old processors i don't really understand how processors go these days so if you're kind of watching this thinking um this is some kind of expert pc review channel i'm very very sorry uh, the, as far as my expert PC reviews go, they're usually 486 machines. I'm not these fancy modern ones. That's it. I've got an i5 for my office stuff. Um, apparently the latest one's an i7. Um, but there's so many different versions that actually this machine here will help benchmark my i5. Continue in selected language. Has it picked up the wireless keyboard? No, it has not. Has it picked up the mouse? No, it has not. Okay, well I've got some... Um, fiddling to do but we will continue with setup uh, shortly. Setup is so utterly painful. I've been asked a load of stupid stuff I don't need but the latest thing is find my device. Found it. Oh what a lot of rot. I mean Microsoft really slim this and, and pins and all sorts of rubbish. Just want to get on and use the computer. It's just only a simple studio PC. You ain't getting that sunshine. 
Improve inking and typing. I mean... No! 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 No, I've said no already to this. No! No means no! <laughs> Hello, it's nearly a month on from when I f last spoke to you about the Chewy box. Things have changed a little bit here because at the moment my Windows 7 box is down there and you're watching this on a webcam. There's also the screen grab going on there. The reason for that is because I wanted to stress the box a little bit to show you in this test. Um, currently running at 60% CPU usage, which means it's capturing the screen encoding, doing the audio and uh, running the webcam as well, all in OBS Studio there. And you can see it's 60%. I don't know why I'm pointing the webcam. You've got screen grab there going on. But um, yeah, I've been using this for the past month with my mixing desk down there. Audio work. Chinny Vision, all sorts of things I've been doing with it, and it hasn't let me down as yet. Just sits there, um, no noise. Gets slightly warm, but not not badly warm. I can just feel it now, a tiny little bit of warmth there because I've been doing benchmarking stuff on it. But it's been quite superb, which is more than I can say about this Logitech webcam. But you know, webcam shortage at the moment, so had to buy this one or nothing else. But um, yeah, it's been doing. A great job. I've run some a benchmark here, so you can hopefully see that. Um, Geekbench gives it 109. I think I'm sure it was higher earlier at 1250. Perhaps I need to run that again. I'm sure it's 1250 when I ran it earlier on, but um, you can see the scores down here and what it's got in it Intel, Gemini Lake chipset, Celeron N4100. And uh, all those stats there will mean something to you. I'm sure that was slightly higher earlier. I could be wrong there. I'm not a PC expert, as I keep saying. Um, and you can see there, there's there's the details of the processor there. Um, I believe a modern AMD, the very latest, faster chip available at the moment, gives a score about 25,000. So it's way down on that. But... This is a basic productivity machine for doing um, little bits and pieces in a, in a small form factor around the home or the office. It's not going to be playing the latest games. You're not going to be rendering on it. You're not going to be doing video editing on it. Basically running productivity suites, doing, um, I guess, Zoom and Skype and that kind of stuff. I've been doing all that stuff and I've been recording audio and it's been doing a generally brilliant job i mean i can load up audacity, actual audacity should be loaded up already and i can do something like uh select all there and then go i don't know why around audacity because i use audition normally normalize this piece of audio four seconds five seconds now okay on my mac over there with audition that'll be done in the blink of an eye but this isn't a machine costing a couple of thousand pounds. It's a £219 computer. And and again, saving an MP3 might take about 10 seconds again compared to, you know, about a second. But it doesn't matter in this context. If you were playing the latest games and, and stuff, then it would matter. But that's not what you're spending your £219 for. You spend your £219 for a small, cheap box that does office stuff. Um, homeschooling at the moment, you know. This would be absolutely ideal for that kind of thing. So, and again, for the streaming here, well, it's sitting at 60% CPU. Okay, I'm not actually streaming as well. All I'm doing... Actually, let's hit start streaming. I don't know where I'm going to be streaming to. I don't know where I'm streaming to at the moment. But... um. Probably Twitch, I, la I think I last used this on. And, uh, okay, it hasn't, it hasn't adjusted the CPU at all, so it's still sitting about 60% there. So, you know, that that's fine. So, overall, I think despite the relatively low specification of this box, it's far more useful than the Minix box was. 
and it seems to do everything I throw at it absolutely fine. I'm sure PC geeks would want to spend more money, get something faster and better and, and, and nicer. As I back away from the microphone with the camera, see, I look, the microphone's there. But this this just works for me in my studio setup here. So, you know, I'm quite happy. And for the money, I think it offers excellent value for money. Um, if I have any problems, of course, I will report back. But for £219, I think the Chewy Hero Box is really a bit of a steal.